Singapore has one of the lowest crime rates in the world. So I'm at this hawker center and I'm gonna leave my laptop, my cell phone, and heck, even my wallet to save my seat as I go order lunch. Could I get a chicken rice? It's about 9 a.m. and we're on the ground floor of this building which has offices and condos. Even though a lot of the shops down here are still closed, well, you can still get a pretty close look of everything they're selling. Although some stores have chosen to put in tighter security measures. Singapore is ranked number two in the Economist Intelligence Unit's Safe City Index. It comes in right behind Tokyo. The population of the city-state is more than 5.5 million people. In 2016, crime in Singapore reached a 30-year low, according to Singapore police. And in that same year, there were a whopping 135 days that went by completely crime-free, from crimes including snatch theft, housebreaking, and robbery. So it's no wonder some businesses barely even shutter their doors at night. Hello, excuse me? Maybe it's self-serve. I think this is closed. I think this means that they're closed. Yep, this one's closed. This Starbucks is located in one of Singapore's underground train stations. And as you can see by the white rope, well, it's now closed. No gate, no locks, not even a door. It's just after 8.30 p.m. at one of the busiest train stations in Singapore. And as you can see, some of the shops that sell items all day long have officially closed up shop and indicated so by putting this cover over the product. But, of course, you're being watched. One reason crime is so low here is, well, it's nearly impossible to get away with. And punishment is strict. Tens of thousands of cameras are actively monitoring areas around Singapore. And the cameras come in handy. On January 2nd, 2018, a man snatched a woman's cell phone and ran away. Three days later, he was arrested and will face between one and seven years in prison. Well, it's all still here. Don't try this at home. <laughs>